dear friends let's proceed further with the dissection of the segmental anatomy of the liver this is part 4 of the uh, series uh, in this video we will try to understand the tributaries of the hepatic vein and how uh, they interdigitate with the branches of the portal vein in the parenchyma of the liver you see we will try to recall these slides from the previous uh, videos here is a superior view of the liver liver viewed from above the right lobe and the left lobe are demarcated by this i mean the physiological lobes and to the extent possible the segments visible on the surface have been uh, identified you can see the uh, small tablets mentioning the name of the segments now that's the ivc and the posterior aspect in close relation to the um, caudate lobe now that's a, a dotted line to separate the segment 7 from segment 6 because this is superior view and uh, in this plane it looks both are on the same level it's actually segment 6 is below segment 7 this is to recapitulate that once again ivc that's the main portal fissure remember none of these fissures are there in the actual liver these are all fissures created as a part of the dissection to understand the surgical anatomy right portal fissure next same liver inferior surface see the corresponding changes and uh, to some extent i have labeled the uh, segments that can be identified on the inferior surface again ivc very easily identified and its close relation to the caudate lobe now this was the essence of uh, uh, video number 3 where we discussed the portal vein and its branches this slide is just a recall slide for the current discussion we here this is the dissection where the portal vein at the porta hepatis we have uh, dissected it along its branches segmental as well as a sectorial now this is the beginning of the video for the session 4 of the video you can see this is the posterior inferior view of the liver you can clearly see the large right lobe and a much smaller left lobe the caudate lobe is clearly visible projecting upwards immediately to its right is the inferior vena cava that label will come up shortly but more importantly more importantly what i have done is i have dissected the parenchyma of the right lobe of the liver on the posterior aspect in the vicinity of the inferior vena cava to uh, to uh, identify the right hepatic vein see this Uh, roughly along the course of the um, IVC on its right side the right hepatic vein joins it further trace laterally you can see the other tributaries of the right hepatic vein coming from various segments so this is a very very important uh, um, add on to our understanding of the segmental anatomy now that is the inferior vein cava you can see the right hepatic vein joining the IVC along its right edge now you see this is purely for the sake of integration whatever segments uh, we can identify in this view i have put a small uh, tablet with uh, the segmental uh, number it's very obvious that the caudate lobe is 1 and um, in front uh, of that is 4 uh, on the left side anteriorly is the lobe 3 uh, sorry segment 3 and more posteriorly segment 2 on the right side because this is a posterior view uh, 7 is very clearly seen 
6 is also very clearly seen. So what is missing is 5 and 8 because it is on the opposite side. Next. Now that's the right hepatic vein as already demonstrated. IVC. Now this is uh, another aspect of the same dissection. The, the shot is slightly from above. We have done a little more dissection. What we have done is the IVC is still there. You can see that it has been sliced uh, uh, vertically. That's why it is not a complete lumen. The posterior part has been sliced. This is to make sure that uh, these veins are in continuity. The hepatic veins. Now you see of this, the middle hepatic vein is very, very clearly seen running forwards uh, into the parenchyma of the liver. Also, this side, the left hepatic vein. See, in uh, the previous slide, I showed you the right hepatic vein because it was on the posterior aspect. The same view I cannot show, therefore, I have changed the view. This is a top view. You can see the middle hepatic vein reaching the inferior vena cava and the gutter that is there is actually the principal um, fissure or the main portal fissure. This side, the left hepatic vein goes into the left lobe at a later stage of discussion, you will see that this is the vein that is found uh, in the umbilical fissure. See, that's the main hepatic fissure. Now, we are recalling this. This is how we started the first slide for today's video. Main fissure, umbilical fissure. Now, what you saw just in the previous slide, in the main fissure, deep in the main fissure, joining the IVC was the... Um, middle hepatic vein and on the umbilical fissure was the left hepatic vein. So that way we have a clear idea of three venous channels joining the inferior vena cava. Right hepatic, middle hepatic, left hepatic veins. Now, this is uh, another uh, interesting slide uh, where whatever the venous tributaries of the hepatic vein is possible, we have dissected. Similarly, whatever branches of the portal vein is possible, we have uh, uh, dissected. Now, this view is posterior as well as inferior view. You can clearly see the IVC and immediately to its left is the uh, caudate lobe and the whole area above, uh, sorry, to its right, that territory is the seventh segment, segment seven. Now, the area marked in blue is the hepatic vein, tributaries of the right hepatic vein, tributaries of the right hepatic vein. We will see this, I have color coded it or color shaded it primarily because it, see at least the hepatic vein tributaries slightly darkish color, slightly bluish, easy to identify. But when you actually do the dissection, the portal vein branches are almost transparent, semi-transparent, I would say. Therefore, it becomes very difficult to show on a photographic uh, uh, yeah, digital image. However, you can see one branch. I will, I will show it to you in a uh, shaded version of the same photograph. You see, now in this, you can see uh, marked in red are the tributaries of the hepatic vein. And here and there marked in blue are the branches of the portal vein. For the first time, at the parenchymal level, we are beginning to appreciate how the blood from two systems, one is the portal system and the other is the vena cava system, are beginning to uh, mix. In other words, how the portal blood slowly moves into the uh, hepatic uh, venous system. Of course, at the microscopic level, we have the um, detailed uh, description of the uh, acinus, etc. But this gives you a clear idea at the dissection level how the branches of the portal vein can be identified, semi-transparent, whereas the tributaries of the hepatic vein are uh, uh, slightly darkish blue in color. That was a, a brief introduction to the tributaries and the pattern by which they uh, join the inferior vena cava. Uh, 
slowly i am also in addition to introducing the hepatic veins i am also trying to integrate the location and the orientation of the hepatic veins in relation to the parenchyma of the liver particularly in relation to the fissures because these things uh, make a lot of uh, um, importance uh, when the liver is uh, um, uh, segmentally removed a part of the liver has been has to be removed because you should know where the large veins are located hence it has a bearing on the surgical anatomy of this uh, uh, organ uh, this series is not complete so uh, it will continue into part 5 basically i have two livers dissected one liver i have dissected the portal vein and its branches and the chopping off as much as the liver parenchyma is possible to demonstrate the venous uh, branching pattern and similarly the hepatic tributaries in the other one i have clearly cut out windows on the various uh, segments and removed the parenchyma to the extent that these vessels become apparent in the depth so there is a two contrasting uh, dissections and uh, the next video we will look at these uh, segments liver segments the conoid segments and segment by segment we will try to see which branch of the portal vein is there and to the extent possible uh, the which tributary of the hepatic vein is there this will be the final integration uh, of the series where we started with the hepatic uh, lobes then introduce the physiological lobe then introduce the sectors then we introduce the segments then the portal vein and its branches then the hepatic uh, tributaries then finally we are going to put all of them into the uh, into the uh, liver anatomy and examine the same liver segment by segment that will how the next few videos will continue thank you for your patient uh, uh, hearing